Welcome to 247 News Flash. In this edition, the majority leader in parliament, Osei Chairman Sabonsu, has suggested a drastic reduction in the number of ministers of state to only 19, as civil ministers will only lower the pressure on the public purse. The majority leader during a public lecture, the KNEST, posited that many ministers are actually not needed to decide on government policies. The new patriotic party has indicated all is set for national executive elections slated for the Accra Sports Stadium from tomorrow, July 15 to 17, 2022. According to the party's elections committee, 6,730 delegates chosen from the 275 constituencies of the country will be casting their ballots to determine the fate of 48 aspirants in the elections. The Privileges Committee of Parliament has decided to leave the determination of the fate of the Member of Parliament for Domi Kwabinya, Adjua Safo, to the entire plenary. The committee took the decision following the MP's failure to appear before the committee to justify absence from Parliament without permission for more than 15 certain days. The report of the committee is set to be presented to the House for consideration and approval or otherwise. In other stories, the Ghana Medical Association, Ghana Registered Nurses and Midwives Association, Health Service Workers Union have served notice to strike by July 22 if their demand for 20% cost of living allowance is not granted. The health workers said, like organized labor, they want the 20% cola for their members in the light of the prevailing difficult economic situation in the country. In business this evening, the Public Utilities Regulatory Commission is expected to announce its new tariffs tomorrow, July 15, rescheduling dates for the more than two times. The PURC had initially set July 1, 2022 to announce its decision on the review of water and electricity tariffs for 2022 to 2027 by the Executive Secretary of the PURC, Dr. Ismail Aka, in a statement today cited by the Channel 247 News, said the Commission identified a number of issues during the analysis of the tariff proposals, which necessitated further deliberations. The euro has fallen below the dollar for the first time in nearly 20 years as the war in Ukraine pushes the single currency down. A single euro bought $0.998 on the foreign exchange market is now down by 0.4% in the day's trading. Fears that Russia may restrict Europe's supplies of energy have increased the chances of recession in the euro area. On the global front, a Gambian court on Wednesday sentenced five members of the intelligence service to death for the murder of a political activist during the rule of ex-dictator Yaya Jame. High Court Justice Kamba Sila Kamara pronounced the sentence against the former head of National Intelligence Agency, Jankuba Baji, after finding him guilty of murdering Ibrahim Sola Sambin, an important figure in the opposition United Democratic Party in 2016. Still on the global front, ride-hailing company Uber is being sued by 550 women who claim they were assaulted by drivers while using the platform with another 150 potential cases in the offing. The filing, which was made on Wednesday in a U.S. court, includes a wide range of complaints including kidnapping, sexual assault, sexual battery, rape, stalking, and harassment by the drivers. According to the complaint, Slata Shulam firm, the alleged assault took place across several US states. In sports, the former Ghana Premier League champions were found guilty of match fixing and were relegated to the second tier league. The Ghana Football Association Disciplinary Committee announced in May that Ash Gold played a pre arranged match against its allies on the final match day of 2020 2021 20, season in a game that ended 7 0 with inter allies defender Hashmi in Musa admitting to scoring two own goals. Africa's fastest man, Ferdinand Umanyala, will be able to compete in the World Athletics Championship 
after being granted a last minute visa to travel to the United States amidst fears of missing out on the 2022 championship, Oman Ala, the third quickest man in the world this season, behind America's Fred Carley and Trayvon Brumel, had visa issues 48 hours to the team's departure. Entertainment Danzo Latiz Charles Niyama, known in showbiz as Shatawale, has defended his frequent verbal banter with colleague musicians, particularly from Nigeria. According to him, his feud with these top musicians is to create opportunities for Ghana's next generation to penetrate the Nigerian market, insisting that he does not mind going into the trenches if the outcome will change the fate of the country's music industry. Finally, in the news, American actor Nick Cannon has expressed his desire to get back with his ex-wife Maria Carey, saying they belong to each other. In a recent interview, the actor has made it clear how much he likes his ex-wife singer Maria, despite the fact that he continues to have relationships with other women, stating that Maria is his one and true love. That will be it for the news this evening. Thank you for watching.